let's uh, go to the uh, the phone lines and talk to Jason. He's listening in Greenville, South Carolina, on the web. Hi, Jason. Hey, Hank. How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Go, doing well. Doing well. I uh, want to give a shout out to everybody there in the studio. So, hope everybody's doing well. Thank you. Um, my question is: um, some friends and I were talking about. Um, Mormonism, and uh, specifically, the, obviously, the difference between Mormonism and Christianity, and this idea of Mormons having um, kind of special pajamas that they wear underneath their clothes came up, and I wanted to ask, is that true, and if so, what's the significance of that? It's a symbolic gesture of the promises that a Mormon uh, has made uh, to their God. Um, it's, uh, it's worn after the initial rite that uh, takes place uh, in the Mormon temple, and it reminds the Mormon of being uh, set apart uh, from the world. So that's a basic overview of what's going on with the, uh, what's sometimes uh, described as the magic underwear. Uh, so people kind of ridicule it a little bit. But for Mormons, this is something that is significant. I think the bigger uh, issue with Mormonism is, does Mormonism cohere uh, with that which is true? And the answer to that question is, of course, it does not. Uh, Mormons deny uh, the essentials of the historic Christian faith. And to that end, I've put together a flip chart that I think is... Uh, is helpful for people to engage with. Uh, I don't know if we have a copy of that in the studio. If we do, I'll hold it up in a moment. Oh, yes, thank you. Right here, the Mormon Mirage. Um, memorable keys to the Mormon Mirage. It's been so long since I've talked about Mormonism, but I actually organized this flip chart around the acronym Mormon Moroni. Well, it's, of course, the angel that you see at the top of uh, Mormon uh, stakes or temples, you see this uh, uh, this angel Moroni. Then you have uh, uh, an entry on the organization, how uh, Mormonism came to be from a historical standpoint. The revelations, uh, Mormons have a quad, not just the Bible, but they have the Book of Mormon, Doctrines and Covenants, and so forth. Then the Mormon doctrinal deviations, O's and temple rituals, I just mentioned one of them and uh, the new and everlasting covenant of plural marriage. All of that in Memorable Keys to the Mormon Mirage. You can find other resources on Mormonism on the web at equip.org.